Welcome friends. This is the continuation of our series AJAX. In this tutorial we will learn about how to send a request to the server. So the form of the request and the number of parameters to be sent with the request will be shown here. So let's start. First XML HTTP request object that is XHR object is used to exchange data with a server. Now the question is how to send a request to the server in which form it should be used. So for that purpose we use the open and send methods of the XHR object. The XML HTTP dot open method accepts three parameters and it is immediately preceded before the XML HTTP dot send method. So the first parameter is the method. It is the type of request either get or post. Also there is also a third method called head but uh, we do not use it generally. The second parameter is the location of the file on the server. In the case of a server side language script like PHP or ASP.NET, we can also append parameters to the URL. The third parameter is asynchronous, which is by default true. We can also set as synchronous. But if we set as synchronous, then our entire application will freeze and the multi threaded behavior will not be achieved. Next line is XML HTTP dot send which accepts a single parameter as a string. It is only used for post requests that is the string parameter should be passed only when used for post request. Otherwise if the request is get we simply write XML HTTP dot send inside the parameter null. So which method to be used get or post? Get is simpler and faster than post and can be used in most cases. However, we should use post when a cached file is not an option that is update a file or database on the server that is the requirement. When there is a case of sending a large amount of data to the server. Because post has a no size limitations we must use POST when there is a large amount of data. When there is a security concern, we should use POST not GET method. So this is the example of a GET method without a parameter. We are simply opening the URL and then sending it. While in the case of the script accepting parameters, we use question mark for concatenation operation and then use end for multiple parameters and then sending it off to the server. You might notice that in both the cases the third parameter is always set to true. To post data like an HTML form add an HTTP header with set request header. Specify the data you want to send in the send method. First we are opening the URL and then setting the request header to the application URL encoded form. 